<laughs> this would be quite it's, it's what heard, it's lucky. Well, he's reaching for chips. He's not cool, oh my not word. Oh, oh sure. my god. No, he's not cool, but his gut's telling him. What's up poker fans? Welcome back to another Black Cash Poker video where we bring you the best highlights and moments of the most entertaining poker events. Before getting into it, we would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos consistently. Pavel is the only caller, ace, jack. And a great door card for him, jack of hearts. Pavel, top pair, top kicker, and the back door nut flush draw. Andre, though, will take a stab at this one. And Pavel does, of course, check call with this hand. Chips already in the pot. Turn nine of hearts. Here's Andre an open ender, and Pavel, of course, the nut flush draw. He wants to try and make Pavel fold a hand like an eight. How many does? He, how many eights does he call with from the small blind? But Andre continues to apply pressure on these other players. Goes huge, 40 million. The bet. Pavel will, of course, have to call with the nut flush draw. Jack. Hope that it slows down Andre. River, the eight of hearts. Well, Pavel makes the nut flush. Andre, ten high. Be very hard for Andre to buff this one. If he does, it won't work. And he has gone all in. Andre moves all in. Pavel will look back, see the ace of hearts. board is paired given the way Andre's been playing I cannot imagine how Pavel will fold his flush together can't possibly fold the way Pavel has better okay. sized this hand he does make the call Andre will show him the bluff and Pavel now our huge chip leader 368 million chip pot and back at the action first hand back our blinds are now two and a half five million Andre has actually shoved the chunker and stood right it's, behind it's us. It's like he's <laughs> everywhere doing everything. It's insane. Um, wow. It looks like Pavel has reshoved. So first hand back, pure action. Nice when you assume, uh, we can't see the cards, but a very good chance Pavel has the best hand here. Well, Pavel has aces. Yet again, he has aces. Wow. Andre, King, Jack, suited. And well, yeah, let's see if we have a sweat. Five, five, nine, no. barely a sweat. He will need a backdoor straight, running jacks, or running kings, or running diamonds. Still not dead. The turn? Well, the turn is the three of spades, and he is dead. And Andre probably a little shell-shocked the way this has gone. He was, well, he had just short. I think it was about 38 or 39 percent of the chips in play with six left, and he has finished in six. So he will be bitterly disappointed with that. Well, looks like he's got a little thing. Well, Ooh. Pocket kings, 21 bigs. It's definitely a spot where he'll uh, convince himself he wants to call. He knows this is the one man who would free bet him like of the. Oh! The wow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Well, I, this will he, probably save Ilzwada, but I mean, yeah, he does move all in. But he his yeah, hand is just too good to fold. Ilzwada will fold. So it is Zhao all in at risk. Pocket one, kings one against the, the ace queen of Pavel. And of course, yeah, you and see Ilzwada just folded an ace, so. Seven, six, three. So far, so good. Turn is a jack. It is a six. Zhao now, the main contender to the throne. Nice hand. There we go, a little celebration. Nice hand. Huh? Nice hand. You would bow, yeah? Huh? If he fold you One, six, five. So. Yeah. yeah. Please, and he, he was going to throw out a bad beat on Pavel, hitting that jack on the turn yeah. if you want. Do you know Doesn't wake up dark, with kings. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you know that I'm very tight? <laughs> <laughs> very, very <laughs> tight, yeah. We believe in you. <laughs> Most, mostly, whenever whenever he's playing against experienced players, he's going he's gonna to check all the four, you know? Oh, wow. Well, this could be it for Radoslav. He will... No, he. what What do you want? want and he uh, does call. Cool. Yes, he please. does call. Cool. So we yes, have Radoslav. 
And wow, uh -oh. 10, 8, 3, 2, Diamond. Turn is a 6. Move a card. It's a Diamond. It is a Diamond. Ricky will knock out Radoslav in fifth place. Well, you can see fans are pretty happy with that one. Of course, Radoslav to almost double himself up. He was, of course, fourth or fifth. So Pavel raises this one up. Zhao does defend with the King-10 and gets a bit of trouble here with a 10-9-6 flop. We'll be pretty confident he has the best hand. 50 and a half is the bet. And Pavel does call. <laughs> River, wow, it's a fantastic card for Zhao. Makes it almost impossible for Pavel to fold. And Zhao can really size quite big here. It does look like Zhao is putting out a healthy bet. Looks like 39 million chips. And he makes a great fold. Absolutely wonderful fold. Now I can't imagine him not just calling it, but it looks like he's thinking about a three bet. Um, and he is. Okay. Yeah, and this, this is something we've been discussing. You know, it's, it's so rare you get three bet by the big blind that it looks so much stronger because he can just, of course, put in the extra six million and see a flop. Yeah. It's suspicious here, and he does decide to call. I like this. Poor Good radar. Poor old Yao's dominated here. <laughs> yeah, Yao can't quite work out how that didn't work. Uh. And well. Yao has flopped a gut shot and backdoor diamonds. Oh, yeah. you see Pavel. Uh, Can't remember. Oh, I need to see a chip count. Over yeah. Now, Pavel does check it back, yeah. which we like. Turn seven changes nothing. He does check. And expect Pavel will now bet. He may. He may just check again. Well, you know. He does. Yeah. No, River. no Jack. <laughs> River six is a good card for Pavel. You know, ace highs, which it looks like maybe what he's going for. I'm interested to see the pots, the bet size here. I think if he were about 23 to, to 30 million, would be a good sizing. Let's have a look. What's he bet? He has bet by the sounds of it 32 and gets snap cool or 22. So exactly yeah, yeah. where we thought he might bet. Trying to make, not trying to make Pavel fold a hand as strong as Kings, but. Maybe make him fold an ace high. Sure, be all in. All in. Your man okay. Isildo would be all in in a flip. Call. He calls. The other two will be rooting for Pavel's ace king here. Isildo no. can't believe he's in a flip with a hand as strong as queens. He wanted. So he wanted a game of it. No ace. No king. Come on. <laughs> the flop. Five, seven, three. All good. Good. So good, far good. for Isildo. Okay, Pavel see. can pick a running wheel up. The most dangerous man on the table. Good. Turn good, good. is an eight. Does not want to double up Isolde. If he does win this pot, of course, he will have nearly 80% of the chips in play. And the river is oh, a queen. Wow, wow. Isolde actually improves to a set, not that he needed it. So a huge double up for Isolde and wow. Pavel knocked down to just 54% of the chips in play. Oh, that's brought a smile to his face. <laughs> Three x it. What would you do in that situation? Well, actually, I mean, Jack-9 suit is one of the hands that you kind of have to play. Yeah. With, of course, 32 million. According back. to the book that he's, you all read. Well, he, it's just it's just too good. He's basically calling all <laughs> in. I mean, he's going to shove most of these flops. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, that's that poor. might not be one of them. Yeah, I was really not running well at the moment. He's not hitting anything. He's just. He may still oh. do it. He does move all in, and Isolde will surely call here. Only 30 million more, and he has ace high. So surely Isolde does call. Yeah. And Yao at risk of elimination. Does have those backdoor draws. Turn is a deuce. No help. Yao reduced to needing this jack or nine on the river. Smiles for now. What will the river bring? Is an ace. No good for Yao. Isolde will eliminate him in fourth place. Well played, Yao. Yeah, a lot of respect there for Yao. Yeah. You're king as well. Oh, he's not going to oh, get well. much. Ricky has decided to call from the small one with Queen-9. Bad time for him to get out of... Well, hang on, what's going on here? Is Pavel thinking of squeezing? No way. This would be quite is, funny. Is order this lucky? Well, he's reaching for chips. But he's not calling. Oh, That's my sure. word. <laughs> Timing off. 
Radar broken. He is putting himself in a world of trouble here. That's quite Isildur cannot believe his luck. Raise. He's got called in one spot and re raised in another. 68 million is the bet. Isildur, what to do? Yeah. What to do? He may well just decide to flat here. I think more likely with Ricky being so short. So shove. And he will re raise. I wonder how, wonder how much he's going to raise. I'm on it. There we go. He does decide to shove. And Pavel will... Oh, unfortunately for, for, Pavel. Unfortunately for Isildur, he hasn't got a hand. Yeah, Pavel will exactly. quickly fold. And we see there, Isildur nearly level now in chips. I could always flop a set. <clears throat> well, this... Oh, no, sorry. I thought Pavel had five for a spades there for a second. Mm. Not quite as interesting as I was thinking. He's with a way out in front with his six. He will Boop. check that back. He turns a gut shot, of course. Pavel also turns a straight draw. One of the one of the ends, obviously not good. Mm. To an eight, eight, five high, definitely a hand doesn't want to try and get to showdown, so we'll bet that straight draw. So an eight will not be good. An eight would be a terrible card for him. That's all right. Seven. So he just goes check, check here, probably. Check or Isildur might try and squeeze a little bit of value. Of course, Pavel may decide to bluff. He does bluff. I sense it has to be quite a big bet. Oh, he's going to. I think he's he going to get called. Make, uh, he's gone quite small. I think, cool. yeah, yeah, he, he wasn't trying to make Isildur fold a hand as, as strong as that. That was the yeah, issue. Yeah, he was trying yeah. to make him fold no pair hands. Um, I would have actually liked to see him go quite big there and try and make him fold a hand as strong as a 10. Because at 9 4. Flop. 3 4 8. Pavel a gut shot. Ricky, second pair. Pavel, two options here. He may have said to check back with a hand as strong as a sign and gut shot, but maybe not too concerned about Ricky check raising him. Does decide to bet. Okay, of course, we can see it has the best hand. Turn, wow, what a turn for Ricky, improves the trips, he checks. Pavel, though, I suspect, will check this hand back. That's the best hand, still a fair amount of time, and doesn't make doesn't make Ricky fold many Here cards. Here comes the deuce. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, a deuce will be what it... <laughs> oh, you just know it. Of course, it is a deuce. This, I mean, this spells curtain yeah, to Ricky, right? You just know it. It's just sick. I mean, he, he could get I mean, he could get away from it if he bets small. Yeah, it all depends how big he bets you himself. Know, he could get away with it from it. He's Playing with his chips and looking at Pavel. I mean, it's a fuck. It's a cooler. Well, he's bet quite big. Yeah, 35 million. I don't think he can get away from it now. I, yeah, this Pavel, I think, will just jam oh in the spot. Knows if he raises the way Ricky plays, he probably just folds it down anyway. So Five, maybe, but well, he has moved all in. I think he can find a fold. <sighs> just think know. about it. Think it through. Think it through. I like it. He doesn't. He knows he's losing. Oh. Oh no, no he does he's, out. Call. he's out. Unlucky. He's out. Yeah, Straight. yeah. Oh, I thought wow, he might. Wow, well. Unlucky, Ricky. Well, very well played, unlucky well played. for Ricky. You. you know, some hands that have a four. I don't know. It's just so difficult. He's yeah, so yeah, sure yeah. he does fold. I mean, didn't like it, but. <laughs> well, he doesn't seem to give anything away there. Not really. It's always quite funny when the action is on you and you've been playing with your phone or something and it comes back to you. Well, not shocked. Well, he does three bet, and Pavel may think this is going to be his strategy in this heads-up match. You know, he's going to. He'll, he should him. call with ace high. He, heads up. At least. He does decide to see a flop. So already this heads-up match. I'm not messing around. 128 million chips in the pot. He's all done with a little. Less than three times that back. So Isildur is pretty certain about the cards he doesn't want to see. And Jack, 10-10. Ten, ten. It's very Reason safe. Happy with that flop. Yeah. It's only good enough hand to bet. Oh, 
course, we'll be hoping Pavel may have a couple of Broadway combinations. You can see the ones that don't include a 10. If he has a Queen Jack, King Jack, King Queen, the hands that will continue on this board. I think he's done with it. Uh, with Ace-8, I think uh, I think a right. I think he just You has and I are wrong. Oh, he will call once. Interesting if a Jack came here. Obviously, he doesn't. You know, we don't know what his perception of Isidore is going to be heads up. This is the first time he's raised, this is the second hand they played, he's raised the button and Isidore straight away three bets him. And this is very oh. smart by Isidore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes out he's been caught bluffing. Yeah. Checks it over to Pavel, who I guess is going to check back his ace thinking it's good. Yeah, he should, he should check back. He does check. Over a three. Can't see Pavel putting another chip in the pot with this hand. I'd, I'd bet I would bet like 100k here to try to get called by the ace. Sorry, 100 million. No. Well, he has decided to bet 135. Fan of this is obviously not trying to get called by his high hair. He's hoping his opponent has a jack. Well, I know I like this. I like this bet so because I don't think it's called by his high too often. He's, he's best off sizing against much better hands. Pavel now 10 9 on the button. He will raise it up. Isolde, king queen suit in the big. How much? Twenty million. <laughs> so he's got a he's got a three bet. Would you? I mean, with yeah. yeah. Sixty four seems to be his number of choice. I mean, he's getting the hands to do it with. It makes it makes heads up very easy when you get these, yeah. you know, monsters. You know, Pavel's like really going to fall underneath it straight away. Well, seems. he will, but look, he's, he's perfectly entitled to raise with 9-10 on the button, but... You think he may adjust to limping in if he keeps getting free? But obviously, he, we know uh, Victor's had the hands. Yeah. He won't know that. I think you should... I think the, the play... The, the, the strategy now seems to be to limp, a, you know, a, quite a lot on the, on the button, heads up, with your whole range. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're going to get free bit all the time... One, five, five. Wow, he has made the re-raise with 10-9. We are seeing some poker here. Yeah, but it's not going to work. I don't think it'll work. I, I don't think, I think it's all just hands too strong. I think he's going to shove. That is not a man who's comfortable, I'm sorry. Wow. I'd I don't want to guess what's going to happen here. I know what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Putting Isidore straight back on the spot. It's not a guy. What will Isidore do? Will he find the shove? Wow. No, he does lay it down. Wow, uh, that's you know that's this a pretty that's pretty problem. impressive. Pavel with ten nine is with again. another hand in the big blind. See, he, he does decide to raise yet again, and we're obviously going to see Isolde. <laughs> I mean, Pavel's just getting bashed from pillar to post jump. I know it's massive. Maybe he'll just he'll elect to just call this time. I mean, see if he can get lucky. He's just got to stop raising the button. No, I think limping is probably a better strategy. <laughs> You've been three bet three out of three. What point do you adjust? Yeah, but he's only... He's, he's I three. mean, he's been up against hands, but... Yeah, he has. He, he thinks he's been full of it every time, because the one time he did full bet him is when he folded. So, yet again, three bet pot to the flop. 128 in the pot. Pavel the short sack this time. What will the flop bring? Pavel kind of looked dejected there. Well... Oh, oh my oh. God. Oh God. Pavel has flopped the joint. Oh. Is all their top set.
Crikey. Well, this is going to be a huge pot. One of two things happens here. Pavel doubles up or Isidore wins the tournament. Oh, they, they both check. They both, both check. check the flop. Well, the turn does bring a heart draw. Isidore may bet this now. Obviously knows Pavel has called a three bet pre. There's a good chance he has some of that, although Isidore, of course, blocks a little bit by having top pair covered. Be interesting to see how Pavel plays this. I think he might just shove. I would imagine he would just call here. I think with position, you can just call and Isidore has to shove so many rivers. <laughs> he can't believe his luck. It's quite incredible. I mean, what do I if, do if here? If the river bricks off, he's been gifted an incredible double up when he was really struggling against Isidore. Well, he has made the call. Isidore can't believe his luck. Yeah, yeah. He thinks he's about to win the tournament. You see there, 298 in the pot. Pavel 289 behind. So if the board pairs here, this well, is o this is over. Isildur shoving this river unless it's a nine or ten. Yeah. Five will be of some concern, but I don't think he'll be too worried. I'm all in. And straight away, all in. Pavel's like, really? Do you really make a flush there? No. But there's no way he can fold. No yeah. He does call, and he'll get the bad news. Isildur thinks he's won the pot. <laughs> oh But dear. he's just found out how cold this deck has been. Oh, that's so brutal. Well, Havel, a bit upset about that situation, but here we go, the flop. Four, oh. five, six, unbelievable. Oh, no. Havel has flopped oh, and opened the straight draw with a smile on his face. Oh, no. Any eight, three, or seven will see him take the lead. Is what to have to sweat this one out. He's got to... <laughs> we can't believe it. How does this guy keep doing this to me? If he dodges a this... Turn. Oh, an ace. Well, that is a good card. It yeah. does take the sevens out, but Pavel still has an open his straight draw, giving him 18% equity. He will win the tournament if the river is a three or an eight. It's Whoa. a five. Pairs Slow the down. board. Isolde with a full double up. <laughs> Everyone pretty happy with that in the background, of course. Pavel still with a four to one lead over the Swede. Uh, limps in the Jack five. Pavel almost say check the nine deuce. Okay. Well, mm. club, club, club. Not so bad for Pavel that one. Not bad at all. Flops the flush. Is it, of course, with the jack clubs in his hand? Well, he improves to a pair now. This no, could this be is trouble tricky. for Isildur. Yeah, this is tricky. I think he might. Pavel will probably check it. Oh, no, he's going to bet. Does Just bet in case. 15. Isildur will call, I'm sure. So this pot's swelling up. 50 million in the pot. Club. No. Nope. Six. Question of will Isidore lose more chips in this pot? I don't think he will. I think it's going to go bet fold here. It may well. I think if he bets any more than 25 million. I think it's a fold. Well, he's going big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to size it as a bluff or bluff or nuts hand. Yeah. No, 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 no. I don't think he's going to. I he's don't a see full it. Full pot bet. No, I think it's. I think he can fold this. He can wait for another opportunity. He does call. Oh, wow. And he will see the bad news. Wow. Well, he loses to the flush. Wow. And so Isolde, quite short again. 177 million. That's 17.7 .7 big blinds. So you think the sizing induced it, the call there? Isolde will shove. For sure. And Pavel will call. I'm all in. And he is all in. Cool. So, Pavel with a race to win this tournament. This time flipping. He has ace turn. Isildur has sevens. Marginally ahead. But will need to win this pot or else he will be the second place finisher. 
And Pavel will be the main event champion here at the Party Poker Live Millions Festival. He, like us, and tens of hooks for this one. Pavel a bit more relaxed. He can afford to lose this. Well, ace, oh, king, seven. seven. <laughs> saw an ace, but Isildur has flopped a set. Right, that, that was quite <laughs> quite a run out, that was. Pavel will need a lot of help here. Running queen jack, or perhaps a running full house. Whereas Isildur will be back in the game once more. Turn is an eight. River, the nine. Isildur does double up. And it's back to just a two to one underdog in chips. Right. <laughs> limps this one in. He's four. Powerful defend. Just checks it back. Both players changing gear there. Previously, Powerful raising this time with bottom pair and Isolde electing <laughs> just a limp. Wow. Oh, Isolde trips Pavel pair. And Isolde does bet it. Pavel going nowhere with his queen. Very difficult uh, to believe your opponent hit, especially when they do have a button raising range. We've seen Isolde has raised plenty of hands on the button. You know, if he was lifting 100%, then, you know, it's still possible, but... Sort of more turbo betting. 45, hoping Pavel has exactly this kind of hand. Wow. Oh, what a fold from Pavel. Smells that one. Smells an ace. Well, Pavel has so ace 10, Isolde ace 8. I think this will go raise shove. All in. Oh, surely. Wow. He's with a with a decision here. Does he want to call it off with ace eight? He folded ace deuce. I can't see how he can fold this one, and he, he does calls. pull. Isolde is at risk. Pavel with another shot to win the title. Ace ten against ace eight. You can see if. If it were to win, they will go back to level. So he's still in front. Nine, five, deuce. No help. Isolde will need an eight. Good flop for Pavel. Not many chop chances on this board. Oh, my oh God. wow. Eight on the turn. Would you believe it? How, how again? Poor Pavel has Isolde all in for his life once more. But Isolde will double up unless the river is a ten. No. Nope. Four. Wow. Uh, I don't think anybody, even out there in the uh, the actual casino, expected that eight to go on the turn. It looked like it was all over, but Isolde has somehow miraculously survived again. Jacks will limp in. It's the second time in uh, the last 20 minutes we've seen Isolde with pocket eight. Raises it up. Pavel's going to get sick of this, isn't he, eventually? Well, at this time, he lays it down. I can see that he's he's getting to the point where he's going to pull the trigger with a marginal hand. Is with king six. He comes in for a raise. Pavel has queen seven suited in the big. Can't see him going anywhere. He raises to 35 million. Pavel calls. Nice door card, and both wow. players have flopped a pair. See, as the does the backdoor flush as well with his king. He keeps the aggression up as he has done every time he's flopped any hand in the heads-up play. Pavlov, of course, has backdoor diamonds. So he will surely call. Now, if he catches a diamond on the turn. Might want to play the hand far more aggressively. Obviously, if a heart comes, Isolde will be in the same spot. Currently winning, and it is the ace of diamonds on the turn. Well, I imagine 
have a look, check this, and Isildur checks back. Pavel. Unless Isildur thinks he can get his opponent to call with a worse hand. He is cutting out a big bet. This is a big pot developing here. Pavel with third pair nut flush draw. Isildur putting a sizable bet there. 105,000. Currently winning with his king. Pavel obviously will call here. Does have a pair and the back door not flush draw. No reason for him to fold. It wouldn't surprise me if he raised. Well, I think raising just makes all the bluffs fold and every better hand still calls. Oh, he doesn't. I don't think he's thinking Israel is necessarily going to bet this big, which is mm. the king. If he knew that, he, he would raise. But I think he's expecting Israel to check back. Isn't the wouldn't the ace have been a good card just to rep it though? Well, he's got a pair. If he had no pair, then I think he might try and bluff. But Pavel does have a losing hand. I suspect this will go check, check. Pavel trying to work out how he missed that one. He desperately gets a showdown. He could rep hearts here. He does <gasps> rep hearts. Wow! He moves all in. What a play. What a play. He moves all in. How can Surely Isadar call? Isadar call here. He's he's thinking it through in his head. He's thinking he called me on the flop. If he caught the ace on the turn, surely he would have bet. Well, it's, it's hearts or nothing. Raised. Yes, he's checking the chip count. This would be an astonishing call if he makes it. Uh, that is what is playing into Isadar's mind here. If he had the king of spades, he would he would just have to fold this. He does have the, pretty much the only flush draw. He is Pavel seriously call considering with. calling here, James. I, I, I can see why. I can see his reasoning. And he's right. There's, what hand does he call with a flush draw? Could, of course, be the nut flush draw. At first, I thought there's no way I can call. Thinking through it the way he is, you can definitely find a call here. His gut feeling is telling him to call. We've all been in this spot. Our gut says call. Our head says you can't call. He can't possibly be winning here for him to make that play. He doesn't want to call, but his gut's telling him. Only the nut flush <sighs> places for him. Wow! Oh! What a oh goal! That's phenomenal! Oh my God! That is the greatest goal I've seen live here in reverse with off. You saw it. Isolda made the call of the tournament. Oh my word. Isolda. With that call, is the Party Poker Millions Germany champion. That is phenomenal, James. I tell you what, I'm so glad I was in the commentary room when that happened. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, wow. I mean, listen, you, you make it sound a lot easier where you explain that, you know, you can't, you can't, because he's got the King of Hearts, that's the blocker to the flush. He played a tournament with 1,022 entries, and he just made one of the best calls oh. under pressure you will ever see in live tournament poker. I mean, I mean, what amazing. For me, commentating my first main, main event, and it's Victor Blom's first main event victory. Uh, we know he's not a man Victor of many Blom words. is your champion here in Rosvedoff.